The following clip is from the North to South Show, live every Monday and Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, where we talk SEC football everything. Now, we'd love to have you out for next show, but for now, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy this clip. Could TJ Finley be the starter at Auburn next season? I'm not talking week one. I'm not talking week two. I'm talking eventually, could he end up the season as the starter for the Auburn Tigers next season? Now, I had to put out a massive disclaimer because I got tons and tons and tons of hate for my Justin Ross video. Just even talking about that rumor, I said multiple times, Justin Ross has come out and said he's not transferring to Clemson, but the day before, there were rumors that he was either going to Auburn or Alabama. People hated me for doing that, absolutely hating me in that video. So disclaimer, TJ Finley has not transferred to Auburn University yet. It's one of his top choices right now, but as of this moment, TJ Finley is not an Auburn Tiger. So before you go at me in the comments, please, please, please listen to what I have to say in this. TJ is not currently an Auburn Tiger. He's in the transfer portal. It looks like there's a good chance that he may become an Auburn Tiger, and that's what we're going to talk about today, that if TJ does decide to go to Auburn, can he compete for the starting role? What does TJ Finley look like? Where would he kind of play in this Auburn team role, and is he good enough to be the starter for Auburn, and can he find Brian Harson's success in his first season if Brian Harson does ultimately choose, and TJ Finley ultimately chooses to go to Auburn, and then Brian Harson decides to give TJ the nod in this season, because Hearing from a lot of Auburn fans, there's a lot of mixed emotions about how people feel about Bo Nix at quarterback. We know he hasn't been the greatest. He's super inconsistent, especially on the road. He's not that consistent on the road at all. So people are really, really iffy about Bo Nix at the quarterback position. Could we see a new starting quarterback this season for the Auburn Tigers if TJ does decide to go on? So let's talk about how TJ did last year. For the LSU Tigers when he got his chance because if you remember, Miles Brennan started out an amazing first three games for LSU last season. That was against Mississippi State, obviously, then Vanderbilt, and then they finished up against Missouri. And I'm pretty sure in that Missouri game is when he got injured. And then the next game, I remember TJ's first game was, I'm pretty sure, against South Carolina. I'm pretty sure that game was against South Carolina. So LSU... Decides to throw TJ Finley in over Max Johnson, who Max Johnson obviously got some snaps later in the season, obviously won a massive, massive Florida game for them. But in the total of five games that TJ played, if I go through, I'm pretty sure it was against, one was against South Carolina, definitely, Alabama, Texas A&M, and then I can't remember the other two. But he did play some really, really good, and he played against Auburn. He played against Auburn in that road game, in that, for LSU, that was a road game. It was in Jordan Hare, if you're an Auburn fan. He threw a total of five touchdowns for five interceptions and 941 yards. So comparing what Miles Brennan did, who I'm pretty sure after those three games was already in, he was way over a thousand yards. I think he was at like 1200 yards or something like that. So it was a step down. Miles Brennan was doing really, really well, but people had a lot of optimism about TJ Finley and what he could do for the LSU Tigers last season. Now, did he ultimately perform as best at, or as good as everyone thought he would? No, he didn't. Does that mean he was just a freshman? Freshman coming in, three-star quarterback out of high school, 19th best pro style quarterback from his class. You throw him in in a struggling LSU team in general. Like, this wasn't just an offensive thing. It Especially, there was deep problems all over the defense, but it wasn't just a defense thing. Collectively, as a whole, LSU just was not clicking like they were the year before. Might have been a talent loss issue. I still think that LSU had tons of talent. It was just they were not able to perform at all last season. They throw him in there as a freshman. He does his work in some games. He gets the win against South Carolina, but then you throw him in against some good teams like Alabama, Texas A&M, and then... He gets kicked in by Auburn's defense last season, so I guess you could say Auburn's defense was also one of the better defenses that TJ definitely went up against throughout his stretch for the LSU Tigers, but I don't think, I think it's a bad statement. I think it's a bad take to judge TJ Finley and everything he's done just off of these five games because he's a freshman, throw him in an SEC scenario against really, really good defenses. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, so... Ultimately, what's going on, Miles Brennan and Max Johnson are battling it out for the LSU starting quarterback position. After the spring game, it was obvious that Max Johnson and Miles Brennan were kind of a step above TJ Finley. I watched and I broke down actually in the show going through um, 
all three of those quarterbacks film from the spring game and you just saw TJ was a bit off not to say that he doesn't have the talent but he was just a bit off so he ultimately decides to transfer and I'm going to talk about some of the things that I really really like about TJ Finley he's got the size that you definitely want at quarterback He's not the most mobile guy in the world. He's not going to be like a Cam Newton who's going to be able to make plays with his feet and run all the time, but he's got the size that you want at the quarterback position. I love his arm strength. He's not afraid to throw the ball downfield, and I think the best part about TJ Finley and something that you don't usually see in college football anymore, he's not afraid to throw from the pocket. He's not afraid to take hits in the pocket because he's so big, and he's not afraid to step up and hit throws downfield, staying in the pocket. That's something that you don't normally see anymore in college football. You see a lot of guys running out of the pocket as soon as they feel pressure. Even if they have a guy open, they don't want to take the set. They don't want to get hit, so they'll scramble out and then try to make a throw on the run or try to pick up three yards on their own feet. I think TJ has the size, and he's just not scared in the pocket. And I think that's something that's going to really help him if he does get to that NFL level because that's something that you need as an NFL-level quarterback. But in college, it's something that we don't normally see. So I think... Thrown out of the pocket is definitely TJ Finley's strength. Some of his weaknesses, his footwork isn't the greatest. Like, if you go back and watch, just I encourage you to turn on the LSU spring game tape. He was just choppy with his feet, didn't really seem fluent at some points, and just threw off the wrong foot sometimes, which it's a work in progress. You have really, really good attributes and things about TJ Finley that could make him a really, really good quarterback. Again, his size is there. I feel like his arm is there. His release could also use a bit of work. He could release the ball a bit quicker, but those are easy things. You could fix the footwork. You can fix the release, but just mentally, the mental game of staying in the pocket, being able to stay in the pocket and take hits, and he has the physical size that you like at quarterback, I think could make TJ Finley definitely a successful quarterback in college football still, no matter about what he did at LSU. Can he compete for the role if he ultimately does go to Auburn? Can he compete for that role for the starting quarterback? I think 110% he can compete for it. Now, will he win over the role is a different story. I feel like a lot of people are going to be pushing for TJ Finley to be the quarterback, the starting quarterback at Auburn. Just hearing from what Auburn fans have told me, I feel like they just want something new at the quarterback position. I think that they're over with Bo Nix. Although a lot of people will still feel very strongly that Bo Nix is would be better than TJ Finley. They just feel like TJ Finley isn't there throwing yet. His footwork's not there. And Bo Nix, although he has been really inconsistent, he's still been able to win some big games for Auburn. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Bo Nix has won some big games for Auburn in his career at Auburn. He's lost some big games. He hasn't been good in some games, but he's been able to win sometimes. And sometimes winning is the most important thing. I think it is the most important thing when it comes to college football. I really like TJ Finley. I hope he gets a shot wherever he goes. There's a couple other schools in contention. I see like Mississippi State. I see like Arkansas up there. I see Penn State and Michigan being also another alternative. I think he could start at Auburn. I really, really do. I feel like you get a new coach and you want to make a splash and do something, get a guy from the transfer portal, start him and make him into a good quarterback and just bring some kind of new identity to this Auburn offense instead of having Bo Nix out there all the time, I think will be exciting for the fans. Ultimately, right now, if I had to say if Bo Nix and TJ Finley would both go in a quarterback battle right now, I think Bo Nix would win just from what I've seen personally, although I'd like to see TJ Finley more because I feel like it's new and exciting and I feel like a lot of fans would. I still feel like Bo Nix right now would maybe be the better quarterback in this scenario. But could TJ Finley start at Auburn, which was our initial question, I think 110% if he does decide to transfer to Auburn, he could go and do something really, really special at Auburn in Brian Harson's first season and really get that Auburn Tigers train rolling for what they're expecting in the future.